Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles 4. We just were able to destroy two artillery guns that were blocking our ships from moving forward, or at least the Centurion in this case. We've escaped the enemy fortress after para-dropping in, and now we're here to see some more cutscenes. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button and push her up to well past 500 likes. With all of you watching, it would be awesome to see full support from all of you. You're all fantastic. So remember, if you want to see more, you got to push her up. And thank you, everyone, for your support. Vote. Make your voice heard. That's what it's all about. Let's go ahead and watch our next episode. Here we go. Who oh, he did it? Who oh, he really did it? Three cheers for the hero of the Centurion! Well, this is a little much. You are the one who came up with the plan, and you're the one who led us to victory. I think you've earned a little pride, don't you? I don't know. No, you're right. I fought to make this mission a success. That is something to be proud of. Victory is a fine thing. But this win feels a little more significant than usual, wouldn't you say? Claude's precise tactics, the captain's dauntless command... It all meshed together perfectly. I'm sure everyone on the ship is sharing in this victory. In light of this achievement, even I can't deny his ability. <sighs> Kai. Yeah, Kai, you got shot in the last episode. What were you thinking getting flanked from behind? All right, new episode, Soldier's Pride. Claude, this celebration's going to go all night if you don't give them some kind of speech. Um, we're gathered here today because we won. Uh, does anyone have mashed potatoes? Me? You gave one just before the oh. mission, didn't you? Surely you can bookend this with another. Uh, fine. He didn't really give a speech, though, before our attack, to be honest. Everyone, I'd like to say something. I'm gonna be honest with you all. Even I wasn't sure we could make this. I wondered if we should head back. <sighs> this ship will keep moving forward, but when we look to the future, death stares back at us. We carry on, knowing that we may lose our friends. We may lose our own lives. It's terrifying. Sometimes I want to run away from it all, turn this ship around, but, but that's not why we're here. We're here to move forward, to protect families back home, and to carry on the will of our fallen comrades. That's right. The captain made a decision, and I believed in him. That's all I can ask of you, to believe in his choices and mine. All we can do is work and fight to the best of our abilities. Just every soldier on this ship has to stick together, stay strong, and strive toward our goals. Someone has to fight this fight. If we don't take on that burden ourselves, this war will never end. Uh, wow. Children, lovers, friends, sooner or later, the war will find them. They will get hurt, and they will die. Until a hero rises to finish the fight, these tragedies will keep happening. We all know that by now. Every one of us can be that hero. We can seize victory with our own hands and end the war once and for all. To honor those heroes who have already fallen in battle. To make sure tomorrow's heroes aren't taken from us today. Let's win this, and come home with our heads held high, with more honor than any medal can give. Damn, Claude's Let getting good. Let them tell us that this mission is impossible. We're still going to finish it. We choose victory! A uh, little continuation area, uh, or error on the Hoffen. That's the short barrel, Claude. We've actually installed the longer barrel. Just saying. Thank you, thank you. Is he crying? Oh my What's god. What's the matter now? Scaredy Claude making a comeback? N no, that's not... You know what to do, Miles. Of course. Camera's all set. All 
right, boys and girls, gather round. Who wants a picture with the future hero? Wait, everyone, please calm down. <laughs> Get a load of Claude's face, Kai. Kai? Hi. Hmm. All right, uh, spoils of victory. The troops' morale has recovered. I think it's safe to say they've reached a new level of trust, too. Seeing is believing. They needed proof to unite them. Words are rarely enough to earn trust, I think. Actions speak far louder. A victory of this magnitude is just the push our operation needed. Naturally, a single victory and a rousing speech aren't going to solve all our problems. But I'd say that's enough work for one day. Mr. Wallace, you've done a fine job indeed. More to watch. Hey, wait up! I said wait, damn it! <sighs> Something's going on. What the hell's wrong with you? Let me go. Can't you at least tell me? I said let go! I'll let go if you promise not to just run away again. Come on, what the hell's gotten into you? Please, just leave me alone. Like hell I will. This is my problem, Raz. It's got nothing to do with you. It's my problem, too. Why? Because I'm... I mean, because you... Because we're friends, aren't we? Friends, huh? <sighs> Fine. That's... Wait. No! I've betrayed everyone. Claude, Riley, you... Everyone. It makes sense, right? I never could say no to my brother. Ever since we were little, I'd always do whatever he told me. I was always just his messenger, his helper. I... Lena. But I... I can't take this anymore. I can't do this. I can't just do whatever my brother tells me. I can't keep betraying everyone. <sighs> Shut up. Just shut up and stay like this for a second. <gasps> Listen to me, all right? I don't know what you did, and I'm not gonna ask. I don't give a shit, you understand? You're not a traitor. And even if you were, it doesn't matter. <gasps> How could it? I mean, I, ever since we were kids, I... I love you. What kind of guy would I be if I can't forgive a single mistake from the girl I love? Uh... Raz, uh... She betrayed the entire, uh... squad and, uh, led to the deaths of possibly hundreds of soldiers. Uh, but love, yeah, okay. It's been hard on you, right? <laughs> and you regret all of it, and you're... You're not going to do it again, right? Then forget all this shit. You don't have to worry. Nobody's going to know if you don't say anything. And if you want to vent, I'll always listen. You know Claude and Riley, they don't notice anything. If it all goes to hell, I'll take the blame for you. Wow. So you... 
I mean, you should... You can rely on me as much as you want. Got it? This is literally espionage. She's guilty. It doesn't guilty. matter who I have to fight. The imps, the feds, or, or even Kai. I'll give my life to protect you. <laughs> so, uh, nothing? I give you my big, dumb, once-in-a-lifetime confession, and you got nothing to say. Dumbass. Huh? I... what? You dumbass! Keep your voice down! <sighs> How do you expect me to trust some idiot who blurts out confidential information where anyone can hear? But... Thank you. I feel like... I can breathe again. <sighs> About the other stuff... Can I have some time to think it over? Oh shit! I did it! I actually said it! <laughs> There's a weird cutscene. Oh yeah, who's this new girl? Doctor! I just heard from Marie. The little girl woke up? She did indeed. I was just finishing a simple checkup. But it does seem like she might have a case of amnesia. <laughs> So, what's your name? Angie. Short for Angelica. Hi, Angie. Do you remember anything besides your name? Mm -mm. Hmm. Judging by her appearance, I don't think she's from the Empire. If she doesn't remember anything but her name, we don't have a whole lot to work with. I'm sorry. I'm not good at remembering. Oh, no, it's okay. Just take your time. You don't have to try and force it. I'd prefer to have her dropped off at some town. But seeing as we're in enemy territory, that might be tricky. I'm sure the amnesia is only temporary, so... I'd say our best choice is to let her rest and keep an eye on her. Can you look after her, Doctor? Leave it to me. I was a pediatrician before all this, if you can believe that. <sighs> Come on, Riley. Let's get going. All right. Bye, Angie. Mm. Hey. She's all alone, isn't she? Riley. <sighs> Doctor, is she strong enough to walk? Certainly. Aside from the memory loss, she's got a clean bill of health. Maybe you could show her around the ship a little, Riley. You think that'd be okay? As long as you don't enter the restricted areas. She's been bedridden for a while. Some exercise would do her good. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. What do you think, Angie? Wanna go for a walk with me? Okay. Uh-oh. I know what this is. Calibrations, back to Belgar's fortress. I apologize for my absence. I'm afraid the laboratory called me back in for some time. I've just reviewed the reports. Ship 2 was discovered at the bottom of the crevasse, I believe. Yes, my lord. <laughs> well done. Very commendable, you two. Oh. Thank you, my lord. But, regrettably, I cannot say the same for the choices that followed. <laughs> If you had reported as instructed, and followed its course instead of attacking it, they might not have escaped. I believe my instructions were very clear, were they not? Yes, my lord. I'd rather we don't have another miscommunication like this. But you understand, it's because I love the both of you. <laughs> yes, I do this because I love you very, very much. You know that, don't you? Those guys are creep. <laughs> creep. Now then, let's begin the calibrations. Y yes, my lord. 
Thank you for your kindness. You needn't thank me. I do all of this for you, my dears. After this, everything should go much more smoothly. Yes, without a doubt, there will be no more failures. Hmm. Interlude. Gift from above. Oh wow, this is a huge photo. In this story, you can go to the next page without reading the scenes. What? Riley has awoken a new potential, something to protect. Raz's potential mad dog has changed to secret admirer. Oh, good. Wow. What is... I can skip this, they said? Let me just see in... Chapter 12, Midnight Run. Oh, okay. Well, let's watch the cutscenes. Find out who this girl is. Angie, would you please hand me the wrench with a 12 on it? 12... Here it is. That's the one. Thank you. Hey, you can go play in the mess hall if this is boring. I'm sure someone there would love to hang out with you. And then again, they'd probably fight over you. It seems everyone likes having you around. You're like the guardian angel of this ship. Angel? It means you're beautiful inside and out. <gasps> no, oh, Riley. You're the prettiest on the ship. Outside and in. Aw, that's what makes you so sweet. <sighs> I wish we could keep you aboard forever. But not all dreams come true. Do I have to get off the boat? Not now, but eventually, yes. This ship is headed for the front lines of battle. We can't just take a little girl into a combat zone. I'm sure the captain will take good care of you. Maybe drop you off at the next port. Hopefully you can get your memories back by then. My memories? Are you scared to remember? <laughs> I understand. Not all memories are happy ones. But it's sad that you can't remember the people you love. Love. Like family and friends. Maybe even a boyfriend. Oh, I'm pulling your leg. Come on. We've still got a lot of repairs to do. Let's see. The Ragnoline chamber's been looking unstable. I assume it's just wear and tear, but I guess I'll have to shut everything down and test it first. Hmm. Valve 5, I think. Huh? It says it's tired and stressed out. Huh. Wow, you're right. L5 does look pretty worn. Angie, you... You really are an angel. <laughs> How'd she figure it out? That would have taken me hours. Riley! I thought you were watching Angie. She's having her checkup at the sick bay. Good timing. The captain has decided what to do with her. <sighs> oh, so it's already settled. Wish we could have had a little more time together. No, no, you got it all wrong. Angie's not going anywhere. Huh? She'll be staying aboard for now. The captain wants you to look after her. But that means Angie could get caught in the crossfire. That's what I said. We're already knee-deep in enemy territory, to say nothing of the cold. But the captain determined that if she leaves now, we can't guarantee her safety. Still, he didn't seem too keen on the idea himself. It felt like something was weighing on him. Like what? Sorry, I couldn't really get that out of him. In any case, I want you to keep her safe. That goes without saying. Until her memories return and she's back home. I'll protect her. It's my responsibility. Well, that settles that. I'll go tell Angie the good news. Hey, wait. I need to ask you about... Wow. She's completely smitten. Very 
Very good, Angie. Splendidly done. <laughs> Doctor, how's Angie? Riley! Angie, you... Wait, what's that smell? Blood? What happened? Are you hurt? Um, well... <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry, Riley. Angie's in perfect health. We just treated a soldier who shot himself in the foot. Laws. It was an emergency, and we're understaffed, so Angie assisted me with the operation. I was his helper. You helped treat a bullet wound? That's amazing. She was a little scared of the blood, of course. She was very brave and calm the whole time. That girl really is an angel. Even when I was covered in blood and panicking, she just held my hand and smiled. Thanks to her, I managed to work through the pain. And this damn quack barely gave me any anesthetics. I'll take that as a compliment. That reminds me, I need to disinfect your wound. Let me get the strong stuff. Ah! Stay away from me, you madman! Sergio, you're scaring him! <laughs> Merely a joke, Angie. Would you mind disinfecting his foot then? Apparently, only you can make him feel better. Okie dokie. <laughs> We've got ourselves a little nurse on staff. Angie. Oh, nice. Uh, pardon me, is Angie here? Big mortar. Angie's at the sick bay right now. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, I just wanted a hand peeling the potatoes. Uh, can you let me know when she gets back? Sure, no problem. Hey, Angie! Oh, Riley! It's just you. Angie's helping out in the galley. Well, I'm on laundry duty, so I was wondering if she'd like to join me. Yeah. I'll tell her. Angie, I've got some candy drops for you. <sighs> Whoops, sorry, Riley. I was hoping you were someone else. Oh, well, I'll just wait here until... Get out! Jeez, Angie, Angie, Angie. That's all anyone can say. I want to play with her too, you know. If this keeps up, I'll never get to see her. <sighs> no, Angie's not here. Uh, Riley? It's me. <gasps> Angie! S sorry about that. Come on in. <sighs> I played with so many people today. Whoa. Seriously, everyone's pulling you left and right. Don't be afraid to tell them no, all right? But I want to help out. Except now you're really tired, aren't you? I can tell. Hmm. You're still recovering. Don't push yourself so hard. Sorry I worried you. But... But what? I don't remember anything about before. So I want to make new memories with everyone here. Angie. Oh, but I'm okay. I feel fine. And everyone gives me treats when I help. I ate a lot of candy. <sighs> Maybe that's why I'm so sleepy. Then I think it's someone's bedtime. Okie dokie. Oh, but don't forget to brush your teeth. Oh, okay. Making memories? Yep. We're going to give Angie a night she'll never forget. Something she can remember us by. Even after her amnesia's cured. Who knows what else she'll remember. I don't know why, but I get the impression that girl feels pressured by something. Yeah, you may have a point there. She's always running around trying to assist anyone she bumps into. Last time, I saw her helping Andre in the engine room. He was impressed by how quickly she picked things up. 
Yes, I know. She may have potential as a nurse, but she'd make an amazing mechanic one day. She's a smart girl, and a hard worker to boot. That's part of her charm. It's no wonder the whole crew is head over heels for her. I think she's worried about her amnesia, though. She does all these chores to distract herself from it. So, will you help me? It's not like we got anything better to do. You gonna tell us the plan or what? Mm-hmm. Drumroll, please. Big party? Oh, Feast of All Spirits. What is this? God, it's cold. Can anyone remind me why we're throwing a summer festival in the dead of winter? Quit whining. Come on, at least try to look happy. Here she comes. Um, I saw the note to come to the mess hall and... Happy, Happy Feast, Feast of All Spirits, Angie! Angie. You. The Feast of All Spirits is a Gallian holiday to show our love for the spirits of the Earth. It's also a day when we give presents to people we love. Oh, really? But I didn't bring anything. That's fine. All that matters is that you have fun. So here, start us off for us. I got you something real good. The finest bacon from Einhemd. Um... Huh? Einhemd? How many months ago was that? That's too bad. Maybe jerky would have lasted this long. You really thought rotting meat would make a good present? <laughs> uh oh, but... but I really like it! Thank you, Raz. Alright, next. Your turn, Kai. Here you go. And this is... a bullet. Don't you think that's dangerous for a kid? I made it myself. It opens up into a medicine bottle. I put a home remedy for upset stomachs in there. So you could even eat spoiled bacon and be just... Uh, okay, next. Your turn, Claude. Uh... Sorry. This was the best I could do on short notice. It's special stationery the Navy uses in the control room. Wow! It's so pretty! Writing nourishes the brain, so maybe it can help you get your memories back. Hmm. That was actually pretty thoughtful. For Claude? And last but not least, it's my turn! All that build-up for this? It's just a standard-issue army jacket. Oh, well, yeah. But it's one of my cute ones. And I altered it to fit Angie. Here, try it on. So warm. A little big on me, but... Squad, this mission wasn't exactly like our usual ones, but I think it went pretty well. I'd say it went fantastic. You got that right. <laughs> I love you, Riley. I love you too, Angie. Okay. <clears throat> Midnight run, resupply mission. I know I don't know who that girl is, but there's something there. Up until now. Centurion's gone from battle to battle with no resupplying in between. When the ship first left the coast, it carried with it more than enough fuel and ammo to complete the mission. However, thanks to all the unforeseen obstacles we've encountered, the Imperial ambushes, a forced detour, 
Our supplies are already running thin. We're nowhere near the Empire's capital yet. In particular, there's the backup engine. It requires an enormous amount of Ragnite to keep it running. Right now, if we just charge on forward, there's a very real chance we'll run out of fuel. And if we get stranded in the middle of a frozen wasteland, it wouldn't just mean the failure of our mission, it would be certain death for everyone on board. There's no other way around it. We need to restock our fuel and ammunition before they're gone entirely. So, our next destination is a port town on our new route. The Empire has been using it as a supply hub. This is no ordinary resupply mission. The fate of everyone on board the Centurion hangs in the balance. No matter how far we go, all you can see is snow. It's scary to think what would happen if we ran out of fuel. Have you heard of the Minette? The Minette? In the last war, there was a ship called the Minette with a crew of 20. They got stranded and drifted for days. But when they found the ship after the war, there was only one body. All they found of the other 19 was just a big pile of bones in the kitchen. Don't say that! We would never go that far! One body? A hundred? It doesn't matter. We're still going to... Loof! The Centurion isn't like the Minette. We're not just drifting out here. Besides, we're surrounded by snow. At least fresh water won't be an issue. Anyone ever tell you you're too optimistic for your own good? <laughs> We've got to keep our heads up somehow. But we can't keep this up forever. Please, Claude, save the Centurion. We'll be arriving at our deployment point soon. Prepare for land combat immediately. Leave it to me. I'll make sure y'all make it back safe. And the transport trucks, too. I've used every trick in the book to make it this far. We've been pushing the backup engine to run on empty. It's affecting the machinery. If we don't get some more Ragnite soon, the whole system could backfire on us at any moment. We'd be sitting ducks out here. I'd rather not wait for the Empire snipers to pick us off. They wouldn't even have to snipe us. They could just pull up a chair and watch us die. Ugh, I've got goosebumps just thinking about it. We'll just have to take all the Ragnite the Empire's got, and their weapons and ammo while we're at it. Might need some more food, too. We're almost out of bread. We don't have any eggs, milk, or sugar, either. If we had those, I could make some pudding for Angie. Fuel is our top priority, but some more food couldn't hurt. Remember, though, we're not pillaging. We're targeting military facilities only. I don't want any civilians caught in the crossfire. As for your assignations... <clears throat> Claude, do you have a moment? I made a list of all the supplies we need. Can we go over it? Perfect timing. Let's hash out who's gonna do what. Our first priority is fuel, and then... We park the transport trucks out back behind the warehouse. Then, while we distract the guards... Transport trucks? Maybe I can go outside on one. Let's go, Rex! This is where we meet up with the Resistance, right? Yeah. We're looking for a blue rose in a window. Oh, because the Rebels are called the Blue Rose. I guess not all imps are rotten, huh? This city was originally part of the Nord Republic. The Empire hasn't been in control for long. They want to fight for their homeland, same as us. That's why they're working with the Federation. If they hadn't let us in, 
We'd have had no choice but to storm the city for our supplies. Well, I'm glad they're on our side. The less we gotta do, the better. Still, if we get caught, we'll end up prisoners of war. But the Resistance... Right. If the Imperials find them, it'll be Einhemmed all over again. We'll have to be careful how we communicate. Shh! Some soldiers are coming. Hmm. Okay, I got this. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Sorry, pal, but it's nap time. Wait, stop! Stop and smell the roses. That's the code. You're with the Blue Rose? <laughs> Raz, let him go. He's our contact. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. My name is Mika. We already took care of the prep work. Let's go. Okay. Follow him. Rags, what's wrong? We're leaving. <sighs> Come on, you weird dog. Fine. Stay and watch the trucks. doesn't like anyone petting him but me. of a ship, a Federation snow cruiser, yes? Why would they come to this town? Um, I'm sorry, I don't really remember. You don't remember? I only remember my name. It's Angie. Of course, memory loss. It was like that for some of the others, too. Maybe that's for the best. You might be happier that way. Not knowing anything. Everyone's working so hard, but I can't do anything to help. All I can do is hide behind them. At dinner, everyone only gets two pieces of bread, but they all still share some with me. And when I finally sit down to eat, I have so much bread, I can't even finish it all. And everyone just smiles at me, even though I can hear their stomachs growling. And when I go to bed, they tell me stories, like... Enough! <gasps> so, everyone needs you. And everyone loves you. You must be so happy. You must have so much fun. You know how much I wanted a life like that. Uh, I'm sorry. Fine. You want to know who you really are? I'll tell you. Huh? I'll show you what you can do for all those nice people. 
all the people who protect you. Tell me, I just want to help. Very well. In that case, remember who you are. Remember why you are here. Who I am? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Warehouse Supply Raid. Alright, we'll be back with more Valkyria Chronicles 4 next time as we're on to a new mission. If you haven't already, make sure you click or tap that like button. Get her up past 500 likes to continue the series. Show your support. Be aggressive and let everyone know, including myself, that you want to see more. It's only simply your way to vote here on the channel for more content such as this. We'll see you next time as we are now going to raid the supply warehouse and get all that wonderful bread, meat, cheese, milk, fuel, and everything else. We'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, everyone.